Live music is about how people gather and how people react to the music. It creates this movement. Seeing like the crowds like go off, there's always a bit of an adrenaline rush. This is like a milestone for local music. You keep wanting to go back, you keep wanting to get on you know, stage. I could explain how dreams come with that offer. Our dreams came true. Outside of a dream, right? So, this next song is none other than Dream. And when the day the contract was about to sign, you know, I called my, all my friends and I was like, hey, do you believe this? Do you believe this at all? I called Razi and he, he was like, oh my god. <laughs> As I spoke, oh my god, I was visualizing the whole festival. It was a very surreal moment and it was very exciting. And yet, it was more like, yeah, we have no clue <laughs> what's about to come. Back in the late 90s, there's a consistency of events that people are putting up. There was a build up of shows, the alternative scene on MTV and on Billboard, bands like Green Day, all these punk rock bands, are, they, they're having all this traction. Everybody was just coming together and playing the band. There was Livonia, there was Astral, there was Electric Company. They were sort of like the bands that we go and watch all the time. Most of the time, uh, these bands would organise their own shows, their own gigs, mostly at youth park or at community centres or maybe even school halls. I think it came to a point where you know, people just want to do something. It's always about that determination of like creating moments with music and about creating this special space that we've built ourselves. And when Beats came along, it was the first festival that actually allowed the underground music scene to play this festival and you know to give them this showcase. If you really, really take a step back, the branding of Babies is actually about music with friendship. And I think the management and the discipline of Wake Me Up Music and the bands which was quite emotive, indie-like, when it mixed with the rawness of like, you know, the punkness of Rockstar Collective, that creates what Babies was about at that point, right? So by virtue of the fact that we are the National Arts Centre and, um, you know, we we build a stage in the middle of our city um, that's free for everyone, presenting like punk bands, metal bands. It's also to, to show that the arts is just not restricted to like Chopin or Beethoven, you know, metal, punk, it's all part of the arts and it's all part of our national cultural landscape as well. In that first edition, I think what I remember most is a lot of uh, heavy metal, trash metal bands, uh, punk bands, and they attracted a relatively young audience that uh, were, were quite physical in how they, they appreciated the music. Our main concern was to ensure the safety of everyone involved. For the genre that we were presenting, mosh pits, body surfing. So over the years, we invested in what they call crash stands which is effectively a barrier that will never topple. It's always quite exciting, like, you know, having to sort of raise something from the ground and then, you know, show for the weekend. When you're watching it from backstage and you see like these bodies like flying across a crowd against the skyline, you know, it, it does feel quite special like, and you're like, yeah, okay, I think we, we did all right. It created a sense of, I want to be on that stage. I want to be in David. And that kick-started a lot of other bands. I see a, a, a growth in technique, a, a growth in skill. Uh, you no, know, the songwriting was better. The, the craft, the musicianship, everything was, was much better. What we did was to create that lineage of, you know, continuity, that mentorship was important because it represents the youth, it represents the future. We took over from uh, the collective who started the festival. At that time, there wasn't that many music presentation platforms where the people can just perform on a professional a big stage where they are supported in all ways. But as more and more venues open, then people question, why do we still need to do it? 
if art is a form where we reflect what is the current social condition, uh, then it's something that you have to keep doing. At the heart of the festival, it was always about the people at the festival. That includes the photographer, uh, the videographer, the people who helps to take care of the band, uh, the fans, uh, and, and everyone who puts the show together. The story of Navids. So, uh, me and Chester have both tried for Baybeats budding bands uh, 2018, 2019 We got rejected in 2019 We're hanging out with all the bands after the audition Someone mentioned, let's just do our own Beats. That's a great idea You know, people say that you go Beats, you sell out Some people still hold true to that It is the pinnacle of local music What's your opinion? It's still a very ritualistic thing for a lot of people. They still promote a lot of alternative acts. It is there right now as is. Uh. I think it's important to recognise how Beats has built a scene. But it's also important to recognise that Beats is not the be-all and all. Beats is just another platform, another place where music gets to thrive and that's beautiful. I'm very grateful for the Esplanade team. I'm very grateful they can see past our tomfoolery and see that our goals really align. Snare increase. The snare, yes. That's the, the only one. thing decrease is the kick. Yeah. Mm. It just start to buy five now. Three. I also noticed that every year, you know, the studio is fully booked just before babies because bands who are playing babies usually want to record and release stuff. When foreign festival organizers want to see if they can bring Singapore acts in, they will actually see what kind of festivals like these Singapore acts have played in their own country. And Baby It's being the biggest festival, so you know, it gives them more confidence. So after playing Baby, Caracal was invited to play Summer Sonic. They've also been invited to play Canada Music Week. And the largest music festival in America, which is South by Southwest, has seen a lot of our acts play, like I Am David Sparkle, Inch Chua, Electrico. If you ask all the festival, Founders, why they started the festival? I think it's all personal. I started uh, the showcase festival because I want more people to see Taiwanese artists. What we try to do is that we, we try to be the tastemaker in the industry. Babies serves a purpose to introduce new emerging artists, but also has uh, some very established artists from other regions. I, I want to put bands from all over together on the same stage. And when they do that, we, we want the audience who come to judge for themselves. This talent that we have, it doesn't matter where you are. It, it matters what you create. It matters how passionate you are about your music. The term haters wasn't formed yet. <laughs> but I think we blurred the lines between what was selling out and what was underground. Bay Beats on its own right now as we speak became like a like a monster of how local festivals are supposed to run and I think um, the essence of local music grew for sure. Maybe it started with the scene deciding what Baby is gonna be like. When I signed the contract out, it was all about John Cheong and Baby. It was the scene. This whole place became a place where everybody can come together, everybody can play together, everybody can enjoy music together. It, it belongs to everyone.